The Postal Service woes and uh, some of the other major issues facing Congress. Illinois Congressman Mike Quigley is there right now. Hello to you, sir. Have, how are you doing tonight? Good, good. Um, okay, so there are so many Americans dealing with poor postal service that I'm wondering, did we get any closer today to finding a fix or, or answering some of their problems? Do we know? Well, you're, yeah, sure, you're right. This is critical, and people get paid through the mail. People pay their bills, and they get life-saving medicine there. And, and we knew that the mail service in Chicago has been horrible. Only about 75% of first-class mail gets there on time. And worse yet, any day of the week, about 100 carrier routes are totally undelivered. So we like to think we lit a fire under USPS today, but we also learned about some of the underlying problems beyond just being short-staffed and absenteeism, and we need to work with the management there to make the changes to make the improvements necessary. Chicago has a new Postmaster General. He testified before the committee today. Um, did he tell you anything you hadn't heard before? Look, I, I want to give him a chance to do his job. He's a professional who's been around 24 years, and I want to work with him to make these changes. You know, he, he so desperately wants to support USPS, he can't seem to, sh to uh, acknowledge the problems that are underlying. And I think his biggest problem is he's starting mail service two hours later, you know, where they start delivering. He's managing around the problem, and that is the processing centers aren't sorting the mail properly for the carriers, and they're getting it to these stations two hours late. Well, we all know it's getting dark sooner. Uh, mail delivered at night is often mismailed, uh, misdelivered, and we know the carriers are very concerned for their safety delivering at night. So he's managed around the problem instead of solving it. Yeah, his insight was really good. And one of the things that he brought up is that they've recruited about 243 postal workers, which to the average person, to you and me, sounds like a lot. But is this just a drop in the bucket when you try to fix such massive issues that they're having right now? Well, I think there's a numbers problem there. You mentioned some of them, but there was a conflict here between between himself and, and the union rep as to actually how many vacancies there are. And the inspector general seemed to chime in and agree with that, that there are people on our on our rolls to be mail carriers when they've either been fired or quit already. So we're not sure what numbers we're working on, but we're at least 500 short. And we acknowledge, I think everyone acknowledged, that there's a huge absentee problem. And that's a management problem that has to be solved as well. Okay, and I want to stop you right there because you mentioned something that just sort of made me go, what? Uh, that there are people who are getting paid, receiving a paycheck, who are no longer working for the Postal Service. Is that right? Uh, I'm not sure that's the issue. I think the issue is the Postal Service is counting them as people we have working for us, and they are no longer okay. on the payroll. That makes so we don't have an accurate assessment of how, how many people are actually delivering the mail, okay. which seems like basic 101. Okay. As your Republican colleague from Pennsylvania noted today, though, that the post office has struggled for years, not just in terms of performance, but also just basic math, making money. Why should folks have any ounce of confidence that uh, any of these problems will be fixed. I'm not just talking about mail delivery, but I'm also talking about having a post office that is solvent fiscally. Sure. You know, and it's interesting, all the time that this is going on, the mail service still has a popularity in the 91, 92% range. The American people love the post office and want to make it work, so we have to make it work. I'll say this about the Postmaster General, and I've talked to him several times. The problems were there uh, before him, but he hasn't made them better. And he did a lot of things that made them worse, getting rid of mail sorting machines, which gave me the impression he was tanking the mail service as we were coming up to an election, which, which was balanced on a lot of vote by mail. And at the same time, he's reduced the quality of standards, saying it's okay for things to take two to four more days longer to be delivered but we're gonna start charging more. So we're gonna give you worse service, but we're gonna make you pay more for it. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, undercutting some of the other basic necessities to make the whole process work. So, uh, you know, it was a problem before. It's hard to say he's made it better. It's, it's probably easiest to say he's made it a lot worse. Okay, well, hopefully you found a good way to hold them accountable. We appreciate your time, Congressman Quigley, for being with us here on the WGN uh, News at nine o'clock. Go Sky, thank you. <laughs> thank you. All right, still